Hello there. Hi. And welcome to Sandals. More specifically, welcome to Sandals Regency Latak Golf Resort and Spa. So we have a travel agent tour. So in case you don't know, if you haven't seen our other Sandals videos, uh, because we're travel agents, we do get a complimentary day pass whenever we're in the area of any Sandals location to come do a tour so they can show us some of the facilities, show us some of the rooms and give us a tour of the grounds so that we can help sell it to you. So our tour is coming up here in about uh, 20 minutes. We hope you'll stick with us, come along and enjoy the ride as we tour Sandals Regency Latak Golf Resort and Spa here in St. Lucia. Oh my gosh, so many names. Yeah. Here is the beach. What I like about this location is it's settled here on this bay. So you see the rocky cliff wall that goes out and they have, they actually have rooms over here and then there's houses and other things built up on the cliffs there. I think, I don't think that's part of the resort. I think that's, well, we'll find out. Um, anyways, we get the rocky cliffs there and then on that side as well. So it's just tucked up nice and neat in this little cove, this little bay. So it keeps the water pretty calm. I mean, the waves are rolling in. I see a lot of shells and stuff down there, but the water looks decently clear once you get in and I do see people snorkeling over there and there's definitely some darker and lighter areas so that tells me there's like some shoals or something over there and I definitely if we have time I'm really hoping we do at the end of the day throw the mask on and head out there so now we're gonna turn look at the waterfall in the pool and there's a little swing on top where the main lobby is back in there that's where we're gonna head right now that's where we're gonna pick up our tour, but we'll show you some stuff up there first. All right, so here's the main port of Kashir. You come in from the road down there, way around, cab dropped us off right here. It's also where luggage service is. And then actually across there in the circle, that's the loyalty travel, de travel desk, which is like the, basically like the next cruise desk for sandals. You can book your next trip and get a discount there. And they also have some stores over there selling jewelry, watches, different kind of things on that side. Then when you turn in, this is the main lobby area. So you have the front desk over on this side and you have the shore excursions or like I think get what they call it, like adventures yeah. desk there. Yeah, exactly. Like you're doing something like an adventure like off the resort. And also when you go past that way, that's where the Photoshop is. Yeah, snapshots, your photo and video creations that they'll take for you with their photo staff on site. They also have a television there that has flight information, departures and all that. So oh. keeping track of that for you. That's super helpful. Super helpful. And let's turn around and go this way now. So you can head down these stairs to get to the pavilion restaurant and bar, which is actually where we had breakfast this morning. We'll show you that in a little bit. But we keep coming around the stairs here and we'll find Club Sandals. This is like a premium lounge. You'll you'll check in privately here. I, I think you can get like drinks and uh, maybe snacks in there sometimes. It's, it's basically a concierge service. Hopefully we'll get to go in there on our tour and you yeah. can see more about it. It's cool because they have different pictures up too of uh, like different resorts. Like this is Ocho Rios in Jamaica and this is La Source in Grenada. Uh, I mean, they just have different pictures from different Sandals locations, so cool. that's pretty cool. Wind our way back around. So there's the Port of Kashir that I was talking about just a minute ago. The landscaping here, as it's, it was with any Sandals we've been to, is just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. But uh, right over there is the resort shop, so that's where you can buy your Sandals merchandise, clothes, hats, logo items, and it's duty free. Souvenirs. Souvenirs. <laughs> Get you souvenirs. I think down here is just more rooms and up these stairs is more rooms. So now we're going to head back into the main lobby area. All right. So there's the front desk and right next to the front desk, we have the Island Roots Caribbean Adventure. So actually that's the adventure desk. I think that's actually, I said the adventure desk over there, but I think they're just the help information oh, desk, okay. arranging flights and stuff like that. And so turning around from the main lobby area, you look down, well you look out to the water. That's the first thing your eye is gonna catch. And also the big pool area. And then there's the waterfall right through there that we pointed out, so we came from there. That's over there is where we did the intro. And it's cool, because they got the little bridge that goes across and everything. But the only thing I wanna point out is the pavilion here. This is where we had our breakfast buffet. Uh -huh. And it was delicious. It was so good. I, I think this is maybe the best sandals breakfast we've ever had. I agree, and we enjoyed the other ones. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, everything that we've ever had at Sandals has been great, but so far everything here just seems like a little bit better. A little bit better. We really enjoyed this. So again, buffet service here. 
um, and I actually filmed all the food they had and we talked about it a little bit so we'll plug in that footage of that right about now all right entering the buffet area gonna grab some breakfast let's take a look around and see what they have it's fruit papaya honeydew passion fruit watermelon grapefruit pear lychee and mandarin ready to go over here looks like some meats and cheeses smoked salmon smoked mackerel limes onions capers boiled eggs cucumber tomatoes pastrami hello cold cuts and then a cheese platter I'm not gonna open up all these pots, but scrambled eggs, baked beans, roasted potatoes, boiled eggs, boiled dumplings, brown chicken stew, and breakfast sausage and bacon. Here in the middle we have some different kind of bagels, toast, bread, English muffin, with the different jams and butters, and things like that. Here we have assorted pastries, croissants, cinnamon swirls, chocolate chip muffins, cinnamon sticky buns, uh, banana bread, raisin scones, Chocolate croissant, vanilla crown, and white chocolate muffin. Over here we do have the coffee station. They have different things you can grab and go. Creamers, the coffee machine to make it. They have cookies out, oatmeal and chocolate chip, regular coffee and decaf. And then over here they have different milk. They have juices, orange, cranberry, and pineapple. They have yogurt parfait. They have soli, plain yogurt, assorted yogurt, cream cheese, honey, bananas. They have pancakes, french toast, different toppings fruit chutney, chocolate syrup, pancake syrup, banana syrup, strawberry syrup, pecans, granola, cinnamon sugar, raisins, and walnuts, grits, and oats. Get, as well as some prepackaged cereal, cornflakes, all brand fruit loops, different things like that. Ready to go. And then over here, it looks like it can make you a smoothie, Bloody Mary station, as well as an egg station. Lots of different offerings. This breakfast looks scrumptious. Everyone is incredibly nice here. Yeah, everyone here has been like super duper 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 extra duper nice. Duper. So that was that. We very much enjoyed that meal. So now we'll turn and we'll head over this way, see what we can find. So right over there is the adventures desk and down to the pavilion inside this room, billiards. Two billiards table, and this is called, I believe, Snooker? We, we went to a Samuels in Antigua yesterday, and I'll link that um, that tour if you want to see it. But yeah, we learned that this is called Snooker, I think. But yeah. Like the table yeah, so like there's the regular billi billiards table, and then this thing is like super jumbo wide. Be my guest, be my guest, but our service to the test. Put, put this place's service to the test, they'll pass with flying color. All right, let's turn here, we'll show you. So you see that there's a stairwell that goes down to the main pool area. Quite an expansive pool right off of the pavilion buffet where we ate this morning. It just goes and goes and goes. Swim up bar right over there. And people getting the drinks and then it's just this big pool. There's multiple entry points. And then of course this bridge with the steps that so you go up and over. You can look down to the water on that side. Or the circular lagoon around the rock formation with the waterfalls on this side. That's so cool, you can go under the bridge. You can go under the bridge if you're in the pool. And then you can also go up those steps to the little gazebo on top where there's one of those like swings. And then this is restaurant La Talk, going up the stairs there, I believe, which we'll probably find out more about that on our tour. Yeah, exactly. They usually tell us about the restaurants and stuff then. One of the dinner restaurants. Speaking of the tour, we don't know if we're going to be by ourselves or with other travel agents. Either way, we're probably going to be bouncing around a lot, um, but those tours just kind of move pretty quickly, so we'll, we'll give you as much info as we can. So this is actually the loyalty and travel desk here in the lobby. Their offices are located over there, but the desk you use is right there. Doing some construction in the loyalty desk. That's why they have the temporary setup in the lobby. Category OJS, club level room. All right, great, thank you. So this is the shower here. We do our rooftops, they have their own safe hair. Club level rooms, get only robes, and they have a standard bar. Luxury rooms, mm. only get what's in the refrigerator. They do not get a standard bar. So 
So it's luxury club. Then butler. butler, yes. Gotcha. So yes. this is the middle guy. This is the middle guy. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow, okay. You know, one of the good things about here, at least you get a piece of the ocean. Just a little bit <laughs> where you are. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's great. I like that. Towel rack. Chase lounge. Table and chairs. Look at that soaking tub. And the view. Wonderful. Double sliding glass doors, both sides. And they have the people right there. Yes. Slide Slide the picture. Oh. It's on the. Peekaboo. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so that yeah, that picture slides and covers up that into the shower, which is um, <clears throat> interesting. <laughs> Big shower. Wow, this is one of the nicer showers we've seen in a sandals room. Shower head there. Nice double shelf. Tiled all throughout in a big bench, and of course, the window. Nice sink vanity area. What's this? Oh, just a rack. It doesn't do anything. Lighted mirror, makeup mirror, shaver plug, toilet, shelves, linen, and the closet with the robes. It's safe right when you come in. Very nice, very nice room. Ooh. Ah. Now we get to hop in the shuttle van. It's going to take us up on the hill so we can see the next two rooms. They should have a wonderful view up there. P1 slash RP1. You can take photos of the tree obstructions, but those to the bottom, you see you have the trees. You get a piece of the tree. I see. Yeah. Man, mm -hmm. this is beautiful. Gorgeous. Yes, it is. Yeah. Most of the different places in Barcelona are located in this area, with the exception of only eight. We have a small gym up there, and we have a small gym up there, and we have a small gym up there. Wow. You know to do it up at night and set up. So across the pool, Red Lane Spa down below, gym up top. Thank you. Category BS. Makes you feel like in a different location all the time. It does. It really does. Yes. Make you think there are one of these houses on the phone. Now upstairs we have club level room. So this is the only club level room we have up on the sunset block. All the other rooms are club level. Okay. It's full privacy, person does that all the time. It's full privacy, just a basic room to the top, no windows, no doors. So they cannot see anything. So that's the main lobby over okay. there. So you have full privacy. Wow. Yes. Hey. I'm just fussy about that. <laughs> the location is more ideal for them, you know. You could always just switch from your bedroom into the pool. <laughs> and you have retractable television. Is that one retractable? Yes, it is. <laughs> so 
So you don't have to leave your room to go into your pool. That's you awesome. <laughs> right in. Jump in. Jump right in. Scuba pool certification and refresher lesson. So we just wrapped up our tour and now we're going to go over the map here of the property to show you where we went and what kind of things you saw. So we started the tour here in the main lobby area which is actually where we're at right now. Of course this is where we had breakfast at the Pavilion Buffet and should you check in desk and all those things. And then we saw a room over here I believe it was in this building. This is one of two elevators on the property so that not all these other, all these other buildings don't have elevators. They're all stairs if you have to go up. So that's something to keep in mind. But we saw the first room there. Saw some kind of just the grounds in general around the front area here. And then we drove in a van. We went past the uh, tennis courts and we went up by the millionaires bluff suites but we didn't get to see them because there's only like four and they're all booked so but that's okay we kind of assume that would be the case but she said they're absolutely fantastic and we stopped here at sunset ocean view bluff village this is the other building that has the elevator so those are the only two here and back at the near the main lobby um this was the one you probably saw the the room number from the outside and then the view from the balcony the room was being cleaned so we couldn't couldn't film that couldn't show it to you but it was a nice room um pretty standard but the, the view was nice from up there and then we kind of wound our way down here here they had this open area where they were actually setting up for the super bowl tonight so that was pretty cool they set up like a big projection screen and some speakers they had like a chief's helmet a 49ers helmet and we actually met the general manager of the entire resort was out there setting stuff up himself so that was that was pretty cool to see and then they had this other pool here um that also had the waterfalls like you saw and they had like a i think a small fitness center and spa area there um and also the armando's restaurant was over in that area as well and then we came down here and they had these like platforms there were some fire pits i believe over there and then that's where they i think she told you you could do like events there yeah you could do like little cocktail parties um sometimes they use it as a wedding venue and you get to look out over this water and it was very very gorgeous very and then we kind of wound our way back over here towards this number seven this row of buildings which was the sunset ocean view bluff suites and that was the last room you saw where it had the pool right on the balcony and then you had the view back over the entire bay the entire lagoon as well as the main area of the resort which was just a stunning view from there and you could see those mountains in the background and all that stuff then what happened is we came back down worked our way we got the shuttle dropped us off here so we kind of went back by the front of the golf course here into the pro shop and so you saw that what that looked like over there so that's the nine hole course that's on property then they can also transport you to an 18 hole championship course that is not on property that's separate um, but you can arrange that with, with the staff here and then we also came over in this area and saw the spa and the fitness center 
and I think that was about it. Was yeah. That everything we saw. Yeah, that was it. And then the um, the water activities is over in this corner. Yeah. Which we we didn't really see a lot of. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go down to the beach, beach, and I think we're gonna kind of start at the water sports area. So like the very left corner of the resort, and we're gonna kind of just walk the beach and see <laughs> and see what you can see from the beach and kind of cut in and see the different. <laughs> so we're gonna kind of cut in and see some of the stuff that maybe we missed. Before we do that though, some information about the resort. I took notes on our tour. You did, you were a good little travel agent. So one of the first things I thought, we thought this was great. And this isn't just here, this is Sandals is doing this now. It's called a wedding test drive. Yeah. And I believe she said you could do this at any location. Yeah, this is great. You can come stay at a Sandals location, you can do this at any Sandals location for three days and they will make your wedding. Choices that you make, the options that you pick, and show it to you. Cake tasting, and linen test testing. Once you book your wedding and all that kind of thing, the money that you spent to stay here for three nights will go towards your wedding price and your wedding stay. Isn't that crazy? It is, I think that's a brilliant idea. Now some other things more specific to this resort. Um, room service is available 24 hours a day if you have a butler. If you do not have a butler, room service is available 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Also, just to give you some information, like what is a butler? So there's three different room categories. There's luxury level rooms where you check in via the, the main lobby that we showed you right at the beginning of the tour. Um, the second tier is um, club level, which is that room, that club service room that we showed you and you can check in there it's right next to the main lobby and then the third is the butler level room to check in via that butler um, lounge yes and obviously you get the most amount of assistance customizing all that kind of stuff well the butler room. and the check-in at the butler lounge is really just the credit card authorization the four hundred dollar hold for incidentals that all guests have to put on file and then the butler escorts you to your room and does a personalized check-in from there and you also get a mobile phone they'll give you a mobile phone that you can use to call the butler whenever you whenever. need something get yeah. the personalized service so that I think that's pretty cool. That's neat, yeah. Um, as far as restaurants, only two at this resort require reservations, which is Kimonos, the uh, Japanese bocce style, and La Toc, which is the French restaurant right here next to the lobby. Yes, and the La Toc restaurant, that does have a dress code, mostly for the guys. The guys need to wear long pants, collared shirt, closed-toed shoes. Um, women, you can pretty much get away with a lot of stuff. Um, just try to dress nice. <laughs> now you saw us take the shuttle van up to the rooms up on the bluffs and on the hills. They have that for the regular guests too. We just use the guest shuttle. That runs 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. every day and it comes about every 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. It'll take you up there and there's a similar style minivan to take you to the airport. Every yeah. Sandals location offers complimentary airport shuttle. As you can see from the map and footage that we were able to show you, this is a very inclined resort. <laughs> like this whole half is up yeah up on hills um and our guide made a very very good point that if people who are accessible have accessible needs um maybe low mobility or even just don't like to climb stairs um this this resort may be difficult for you because so many of the room categories and restaurants and even one of the main pools is up on an incline. And as Matt said, there's only two elevators in the whole resort. And speaking of choosing the correct resort for you and shuttles, the last thing we talked about, we did mention that there are three Sandals resorts here in St. Lucia. There's here at Latak, there is Halcyon Beach, and there is uh, Grand, yeah. Grand St. Lucia. Um, so what she told us is that if your main focus is the beach, you want a nice crystal clear water beach, always calm waters, 
consider going to the Grand. She said that beach is always nice. Here at the Latak or over at the uh, Halcyon Beach, she said it's it's moody, it's yeah. temperamental. Some I'm... days of the week it gets kind of churned up. So just consider that if the beach is your main focus, you might want to consider Grand. But uh, also with the shuttles, we, we mentioned before, it's stay at one, play at all three. So they will transport you to those other resorts. Or if you're staying at one of those, you can come here and use the different facilities, restaurants, everything's open. There are no motorized boat excursions through sandals at any of the St. Lucian properties. Right. So if you want to do jet skis or you want to do like a speedboat or something like that, you can do it through a third party vendor, but obviously Sandals says that's at your discretion and at your liability and they recommend using their people. But there's no motorized boats. They do have kayaks, they do have like the little hobby cats, the wind surfing things, they have paddle boards, yeah. snorkeling, that kind of stuff. They do the scuba here. They have we showed you the dive pool that they do the training at. So they have that kind of stuff, but no motorized boat excursions mm -hmm. through sandals. And something called Joe Nose is the most popular excursion here. And there's actually a sign right over there at the we're sitting next to the adventure desk. So you get a volcano mud bath, you get to see the Pitons, those famous like spire mountains that go yeah. like really high peaky uh go to a waterfall you get to see marigo bay go snorkeling eat a creole lunch <laughs> and you get drinks <laughs> he said it is by far by far the most popular excursion here and she said she definitely recommended booking your excursions um ahead of time through um, sandals through sandals because it does get booked um, up a lot and obviously if you're you know using a travel agent like us hey. for your booking um, we we or your travel agent can assist with that exactly so that's all the notes that I took on the tour so I think we kind of covered it Good job. lots of information there for you now like Chelsea mentioned before we're gonna head down to the beach give it a walk along show you and point out anything we haven't seen yet and then we'll probably throw our suits on and uh, hit the water and eat more I want to eat more so we were just passing through the pavilion where we had the buffet breakfast this morning it's now switched over to lunch which we haven't seen at sandals before so quick spin around here we got the salad bar with different toppings different dressing balsamic vinegar white vinegar olive oil pepper oil croutons looks like coleslaw we got some different cheeses quinoa salad eggplant pumpkin salad zucchini the ranch dressing as well here we actually have a nacho bar so they have chili con carne some cheese sauce they got the chips hummus guacamole sour cream salsa other kinds of chips here red blue heated chips over here we have a cream of cauliflower soup as well as some bread and butter we have butter chicken pork pie welch meatballs breaded fish with fries Ooh, sounds like fish and chips vegetarian shepherd's pie fondant potato market vegetables over here we have the dessert area so we have sugar cookies coconut cookies they have a caramel sauce a yorkshire bread pudding a chocolate syrup they have red velvet cake, lemon cheesecake, chocolate mint cake. That looks like pudding. Little chocolate cakes. Uh, lemon tarts. They have some apple crumbs over there as well as some fresh fruit. And then they have other drinks out now. Lime squash, flavored water, and iced tea. As well as the standard coffee bar that was here this morning. So looks like lots of delicious stuff. And of course, the cookies are still here too. I'm so happy because what every Sandals Resort has cats. I showed you the one I got to pet earlier. Aww. And there's another one coming across the lawn. And there's one behind us, but I won't film him because he's digging a hole. So if you've ever had a cat, you know what that means. <laughs> All right, so into the resort. Got some pilings, nice blue-green water though. Looks pretty clear. You get to enjoy the cliffs and the rocks and the trees. There's a horse over there tied up. <laughs> But when we turn around, this is the uh, water sports activities area, as you see. We have some kayaks out, stand-up paddle boards. They have like the little wind surfer, wind sailing things. Um, so different activities you can partake in and arrange right here. Yeah, and um, this is also where you would come for a scuba certification or to go um, out scuba diving. She said it's about 10 minutes to get to like the, the dive zone for scuba diving. But this is where you would get certified if you need certification and you want to pay for that. Awesome. There's also a uh, beach volleyball net right here and some outdoor seating as well. And also, if you go back inland, that's where you'd find the spa and where you'd find the golf course. And also right here is the amphitheater. So I guess they do different kind of shows or 
productions. I bet, I bet probably like um, presentations. Music at night. Yeah. Probably that kind of stuff. So also right here at this end. <laughs> then we just pick up at some be some more rooms. There is a gazebo right there. You could probably do a wedding or some kind of other yeah. event at. But now we're just gonna head back down the beach because it's pretty much here on this end. All right. So this gazebo here is actually where we filmed our intro, the beginning of the video. But you can see they have some of those like shaded loungers with the little like half dome pullover shades. Yeah. So you can grab those down here. There's another gazebo right at the end and there's just some nice trees and rocks and cliffs and shoals. I'm hoping to do some snorkeling out there in just a bit, but we'll see. All right, so back there the main lobby, the pool with the waterfalls, the gazebo where we did the intro. We turn around and we find Neptune's restaurant. I think she said this is like seafood, Mediterranean, what you would expect to get the nice sign, but then you also have the statue of the god himself, Neptune aka Poseidon. And right off of Neptune's they have the Bella Napoli Pizzeria. You see they got the pizza handles shoving them into the fire oven back there. So that's pretty cool. There's also restrooms over here as well. And inside of Neptune's there's a bar, full service bar. So we're gonna go through, head out on the other side. Looks like they have some uh, cabanas here that you can rent with some heart-shaped stones out oh, to them. Cute. Not sure of the pricing. At the Antigua Resort yesterday, it was 110 for the day. Big chest, hammocks, more cabanas. So this is a nice little space, little garden space here. And we're gonna go up here and see what the view's like from up top. So we've landed up at the top of the stairs to a two uh, establishments here. Herbie's Piano Bar inside of there. But then right here, the Patons restaurant with this nice, Covered outdoor seating. Look at this. Wow. There's like stone looking lights up there. This is beautiful. And the wood, like the colorful fish all around. This is lovely. Nice view up here. Yeah, I would like this one if yeah. we were here. I, I want to come here. Yeah. Won't be open while we're here, but maybe if we come back. And there's also another pool, quiet pool area with a hot tub up here as well as several loungers, tables, chairs. And a look from the outside in to Herbie's piano bar. Small dive. So I showed you the Bataan restaurant right over there. These buildings next to it, the white here and the blue up above, are called Bataan Suites. So a different kind of room. We did not get to see that on the tour, but they're in this area here so you can see those and check them out. Back down there is the main lobby, the Patons restaurant, the Patons Suites, and then when we turn and look up the hill, this is where you saw us driving up to go look at those rooms earlier during the tour. But here in the middle is kimonos and soy, kimonos being the Japanese hibachi style that does require a reservation, mm -hmm. and soy being the sushi bar. So both of those are in this building here. Neither one is open right now, but we'll show you what it looks like from the outside. Whoa, it's cool. Oh look. look, it says welcome, enjoy. Welcome, enjoy, written in stones. With a heart. A statue and chimes, very nice. This is a neat area. Yeah, I like this very much, very much. <laughs> Meowing. Hi, sweetie. Oh, what a love roll. Come back. Don't leave. Oh. All right, we think that's pretty much wrapped up our touring duties right now, so. We're gonna change into our bathing suits, switch over to the GoPro, get some water. Let's go. Ah, walking on the beach. Cool, refreshing water. Yeah. One thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to say earlier is we asked our tour guide, when is the busiest time to come here? Because people always ask us, when's the best time to go? And she said, really, it's pretty consistent throughout the year. Yeah. It doesn't really fluctuate too much. How about our spot? We have a private little corner. Yeah. So they get the suites and rooms up there. They got the big wall with the vegetation and vines and all the rocks, but we're under the tree. Shades of the different trees here. And of course the gorgeous water. out there 
A lot of urchins too. A lot of different kinds of fish. Wasn't expecting that. This is really nice snorkeling. The best we've seen at a sandals location. Of course, this is only the third one we've been to. I'm really enjoying it. I'm gonna see what else I can find. Because I'm not swimming and this is just too beautiful to not film. This is lovely. There's Matt right there. That's what Matt looks like when he's snorkeling. was quite enjoyable. I'd like to keep going, and I could keep going, but we have to go. Gotta get our taxi back to the ship, but really, really enjoyed that. Always nice getting some snorkeling action in, seeing lots of different kinds of fish. One thing I will say is I do recommend having fins here. The current, as you can see, is quite strong, and you'll see it does like a pull out and then a strong push in. And a pull out and a strong push in. Um, so just to help you avoid the rocks and, and get out as far as I was, would have been easier with the with the flippers, the fins, but didn't have them. Um, uh, if you're not going to use those, I would recommend water shoes. I didn't have those either, but I did, I did fine. Um, just, you know, there's rocks, and once you get further out, as you saw, there's lots of urchins. So just to help protect with that. Okie dokie, that's going to do it for our tour, visit, and enjoyment, unfortunately, of Sandals Regency La Talk in St. Lucia. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, we love this island. Our first time here, but it, like I said earlier, it will not be our last. No, definitely not. The hospitality is through the roof. The views are gorgeous. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Hopefully it didn't seem like it went too fast. Hopefully we were able to give you as much information as possible. I'm sorry it's hop around, hop around, hop around, but that's just the nature of the tours. And um, But hopefully you got some good information about what it would be like to stay here and what all is included. But if you're interested in booking one of these lovely Sandals Resort locations, please feel free to reach out to us via the travel agent information at the end of the video. We'd love to make that happen for you. Or hey, maybe you want to bring the kiddos along, have the whole family in tow. We can do that as well. Beaches is the Sandals family resort. Yeah. So just like Sandals, all inclusive, but you can bring the whole family with you so we can make that happen. Several different locations of sandals and beaches all around the Caribbean. We have thoroughly enjoyed our day. We hope you did too. Be sure to also check out our Anthem of the Seas playlist. That's how we got here. We're on a cruise right now. We hope you enjoyed today's tour. Until next time, we'll sign off as we always do saying happy, happy travels. travels from St. Lucia. One last view from the top. We're on the little swing on the top of the world over the waterfall into the pool. Oh.